Hi guys, it's me, Andrea Stever, the Midnight Crafter, coming on to do a project share from this past Wednesday's um, sh live that we did over on Mars for Michigan's channel. Um, I believe we're going to be calling it Wednesday's Creatively Crafting with Kathy and Andrea and Mars, or Mars, Kathy and Andrea, um, but it's on her channel, so um, every Wednesday at 1230 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so please come and join us. We uh, do it live and we have a lot of fun. Every week is a new project. This week we are going to be doing, this Wednesday coming up, it's going to be steampunk themed. Anything that um, we want to make steampunk. Um, so last week we did stick pins. Um, I haven't made stick pins in a, in a while. I got a little carried away, I think. But I got different ones. These are actual actual pins they were like a jewelry piece that for stick pins I do have the clutch bottoms for these um I just wanted to make a few angels I love angels guys so um I had to make a few I made one in like a deep purple and a lighter blue and a nice cobalt blue so we have those so I'll pin them in my cushion that I made on one of our lives from a while ago and let me see, I made these two. I ran out of this brass, um, these brass findings here that I used on this. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, probably not. I don't know if it's the white background or what. Um, but I had these brass findings, so I took and made a couple of stick pins with that and a darker blue. And this one I had like this smoky blue really pretty opalescent like blue on and I didn't I ran out of these brass ones so I used a gold um I thing that I had in my stash the bead caps and um I made some dragonflies because I had some wings so I wanted to make this is like an opal and those are Swovorskians and these are just little itty bitty um, glass crystals that I had in my stash. So I made a bunch of them in all different colors. This one is a really, really pretty, um, blue, really deep indigo blue. So I'll put those in there. All right. And then this one's the same. This one's a light pale pink. I don't know. I don't know if you can... it would focus long enough. It could be my lighting in here tonight, guys. Um, for some reason, it just seems like it's uh, either too bright or not enough light. And this one is um, like a champagne color. Um, really pretty. I'd used a uh, diamond rondelle. It's a larger one in there. And then I used some flowered um, bead caps and um, a metal ball filigree that I had. And that is the longer. I had um, two inch and three inch stick pens to work with. So this is what I did with mine. That's one of them. And this beautiful blue. This is like one of them goosebump um, beads. It's got all these little bumps and facets in it that really reflect the light really well. And then this flatter oval teardrop disc. So I did that. And this is on a three inch pen as well. And this one's like, um, I want to say they call them like a miracle bead because if you look at it, it looks like there's a bead inside a bead. Um, they're really cool beads. So that's on a three inch. And then this one's a red one. I had this one cranberry like frosted red um, stone. So I used that and a uh, butterfly in there with a little round metal filigree and my bead caps with a black crystal and then just a little bead cone at the bottom so yep those are my dragonflies and my angels and I had a lot of fun making these and they make great gifts and great um to put on like a, a banner piece or in a card you can tuck them in just about anything but they make really great gifts 
So, um, yeah, that is my project share, guys. I will leave the link to Kathy's cards and Mars from Michigan's channel down below in the description box. Please go over and subscribe if you are not subscribed to them. And let them know that I sent you. Um, until next week, I will talk to you later, okay? Um, happy crafting and enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye-bye.